Peace, and welcome to Behind the Bleeps and Bloops. Today we are taking a look at a very popular song that appears in many video games, Sakura Sakura. This is a traditional Japanese folk song, and it translates to Cherry Blossom, Cherry Blossom. It's depicting spring, the season of the cherry blossom. There is no exact date of when it was first written, but it's from the Meiji era, which was from 1868 to 1912. One of the first known uses was from 1888, when an arrangement by Torishirabe Gakari was included in a collection of Koto music. Some versions are instrumentals, although there are lyrics to the song and it contains two verses even though the second verse wasn't added until 1941 by the Japanese Ministry of Education. But today we will be focusing on the original verse. You can also find the song done with the shakuhachi. This is a Japanese bamboo flute used since the 7th century. So now that we have established the tune, let's go through a progression. The first time I heard this piece of music is when my grandma sang it to me. I was about five or six years old, but I do remember it. So when I heard it a few years later in the game Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, it rang a bell. You can also hear this remade in Punch-Out on the Nintendo Wii. In the gaming world, this may be best known as the Piston Honda theme, but there are many uses of it in games, and that Punch-Out! version isn't even the only one on the NES. From the game Super Dodgeball, here is the theme of the Japanese squad. Super Dodgeball is one of my favorite games on the NES. I know it's considered a sports game, so many people may be turned off, but I do recommend it. It's pure fun and with great music. If you notice, there is a common theme here. Usually the song represents a team or a stage from Japan, so keeping along those lines, here is Road Rash 3 on the Sega Genesis, the Japan stage theme. So we already know this is used to represent Japan, but there are times when this is not the case. You can also find it used randomly for background music. Here is a Super Nintendo version of the song from Super Tetris 3. I think that may be one of the darkest versions of the song, but I do like it. Super Tetris 3 was released in 1991 and composed by Shige Mitsu Goto. Tetris is known for using popular melodies and making it their own rendition, but usually it's a Russian-inspired song, 
but this time it's Japanese. Another game that is well known for using popular songs and remixing them, here is a version from Gokujo Parodius named What Are You Watching When You Hop? You will also hear this when you beat a game named Perfect Cherry Blossom. Considering the name of the song and the game, I would be a little bit disappointed if I didn't hear it. Although this one only has the first few notes. It is original otherwise. Also, we have a version from Total War, Shogun 2. This one probably stays most true to the original because of the instrument used, but I can't hold that against the older games because the hardware couldn't handle it. If you are looking for authenticity in the song, then go with the Shogun 2 version. They didn't try to make it modern by adding anything, however I must say the song did not exist when daimyo like Hideyoshi Toyotomi were alive. So the devs made a nice attempt to keep the song true, but the song does not belong in the 1500s. Up next. This one comes from a tech demo on the PlayStation 3. It's named Kara, and an android is asked to sing something in Japanese. This is the song she sings. Now sing something in Japanese. Sakura, sakura, no sona wa mi Technically, that's not a game, but it is on the PlayStation 3, and the real reason I included it is because there is an Easter egg in the game, Detroit Become Human, where you can actually find that same android, and she will attempt to sing the song. And maybe it's just me, but I find that one extremely creepy. This game was released in May of 2018, so as of making this list, this is the newest one that I have found in a game. There are a few mobile games that use the song as well, but we are not Blizzard. We stick to PC and console games only. So next time you hear this tune, you will know where it came from and a little history about it. I'm not saying these are all the video games that use the song, and if I missed any, feel free to comment and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and check the description for our Patreon. I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.